batsman Vivian Richards nominated his man of the match as Jeff Cook, the North Ants captain. But on the day, I promise you, no one disagreed with that. And so the NatWest Bank Trophy, 1982, Surrey against Warwickshire. And an innovation here, play was due to begin at 10 o'clock. That's quite something. Just imagine the players turning up for net practice at 8 a.m. Let's take a look at the teams. For Surrey, their fast man Sylvester Clark had passed a fitness test and linked with the swing and seam of Robin Jackman, they were really a threat in the early morning conditions, imagining some moisture around. Unfortunately, their test off spinner, Pat Pocock, was unfit, and so it turned out they had no spinner at all. The Surrey were very much the favourites, and Warwickshire, well, they just had occasional outstanding bursts from outstanding players, and it just might happen that they would come good on the day. Alvin Kalicharan, Dennis Amos with the bat, and Bob Willis with the ball. There was a lot of talk about moisture in the pitch. It was so early, and the captains, in fact, tossed up at 9.30 a.m. Roger Knight won it. He put Warwickshire into bat. So let's join Richie Benno now in the commentary box, the second over, and the score is three for no wicket. That's gone. Beaten for pace there, and perhaps a little movement off the seam. Andy Lloyd goes, LBW to Jackman. First Warwickshire wicket goes down with three on the board. And there wasn't much doubt about this. Robin Jackman starting at just outside the off stump, coming down the hill, and I should think that might have plucked the middle stump out. He's gone. Trotter on the stump, slipped in going for the run or at the end of the stroke. Second Warwickshire wicket goes down. Surrey players uh, weren't following the flight of the ball. They were very quick to notice that uh, the foot had slipped back onto that off stump. Here you see it again. He goes forward, then goes back onto his back foot. And his back foot just slips there. You can see it slip and just nudge the off stump. And there's so many. So many batsmen these days do batting crepes that that's always more liable to happen. It's about every form of protection on him there. And he's bowled him all over the place. Middle stump goes out, and Amy's playing across it, round it, and not a shot that he'd uh, a rather fancied want to see repeated. So 42 for three, and uh, second wicket for David Thomas. He's gone, there's uh, nice catch by Jack Richards. Thomas strikes again, and that's not going to do his chances of going to Australia any harm at all. 48 now for four, with Thomas taking three. Three for four. And Humpage, like Amos, goes for naught. They've got Thomas coming at bowling again, a bit wide of the off stump. Not a good shot that he could have let the delivery go, but just did carry to Jack Richards. And Warwickshire now are in big trouble here. And trouble here. And it's gone. Yes, run out. Goes for the single. That really is tragedy for Warwickshire. Needless wicket thrown away. Kalicharan refusing the call, sending him back, but never ever able to beat the throw. 51 for five. And uh, Warwickshire really in the mire. And he's beautifully caught. Magnificent catch by Howarth at slip. Kelly Turan goes. Knight takes the wicket. Disaster for Warwickshire at 52 for six. They've got Kelly Turan again. He gets fairly well forward. You can see he plays a shot. So that ball will go fairly quick. And he tried to get two hands to it, did Howarth, but in fact he caught it in one. A very fine catch indeed, that. He made a lot of ground there. And he's given him LBW, Clark strikes. So Ferreira goes for eight. 67 for seven, Warwickshire. Yeah. 
He's in good form, Jeff Howarth. He's a fine slip fielder. He's taken two blinders today. First one diving away to his right to catch Kali Charan, and now to pick up uh, Chris Lethbridge. through a thick outside edge so that brings a hundred up for Warwickshire oh, it's pitched away wide of Howarth this time so four somewhat fortunate runs coming uh, as if Din's way courageous gutsy effort by these two and uh, all kinds of trouble here at 74 for eight so that's a great roar going up a single from Asif Din uh, puts together a 50 partnership he's the last wicket for at 74 now on to 124 Good shot. And Warwickshire supporters are finding heart and voice now out there. Well, this is a fine shot, probably the shot of the day. It really, no pickup or anything, just a flick of the wrist, and the ball just sped to the square leg boundary. Beautiful shot, beautiful timing. That's out. Instantly given by umpire Harold Bird. Hey, oh, Jackman bowling. Pitches round about off stump just outside and came back up the hill a bit. That's the end of the innings 158. Sylvester Clark, who bowled with fiery pace throughout despite the back injury that almost kept him out of the match has claimed his second wicket and the last one to fall for Warwickshire, 158. With Gladstone Small, the man out for 33, good knock that, and Bob Willis remained eight not out. It was a struggle for Warwickshire, and it was only thanks to the batting by those chosen to bowl that Warwickshire got near to using up their 60 overs. Asif Din and Gladstone Small and Bob Willis, great rear guard action. In fact, the last two wickets more than doubled the score. We we'll take a look at the bowling. It's a happy sight for Surrey supporters. Two each for Sylvester Clark and Robin Jackman. And Roger Knight, just look at that incredible two for 14 in 12 overs. And hidden in these figures is Dave Thomas's devastating spell of three for one in 11 balls. So 159 to win. Could Surrey make a good start? We join in the ninth over. Richie Benno, your commentator. And the score is 49 for no wickets. That's Willis bowling to Jeff Howarth. Eleventh no ball, the innings. And the 50 comes up. Really a waste by the Warwickshire bowlers who are trying desperately hard. Perhaps trying a little bit too hard. There's a good shot. Beautifully timed, well placed, and played with a minimum of effort. He's holding it up for court. Jeff Howarth's not sure, but the fielder says yes, and Howarth goes straight away. The first wicket down, Chris Lethbridge has claimed the wicket of Jeffrey Howarth caught by Phil Oliver at mid on in a short of a length bad delivery really pulled it quite firm off the back foot didn't quite middle it and a good catch at the finish because he had to dive forward and he probably won't pick it up very quickly looking to the crowd so a good catch and picking the gap on the onside this time and uh, Butcher going through for the two runs he requires to go through for 50. And a very good 50 it's been. 
been in command ever since the first ball. Played some beautiful shots on both sides of the wicket. And really has had a marvellous end of the season run. His third 50 in this competition. Four fours. Small to butcher. And short, that's hammered through uh, mid wicket. Four runs. It's uh, Alan Butcher's best score in this competition. He's gone past the uh, 53 he made in the semi final against Middlesex. That's edged wide a slip. And races away for four very lucky runs for uh, Alan Butcher. It's Walter Smith. That's a no ball short, wouldn't have made much difference. Bad ball and pulled away quite viciously by Smith for four. And a fine shot this. Smith standing up straight and giving that the short arm. And, uh, all five bowlers have been used in vain by Warwickshire. This wicket has got progressively better as the day has gone on and Butcher strokes another way through off the back foot. Not a great deal of interest shown by the fielder either as it races through for four more. And Alan Butcher very reminiscent of John Edridge square of the wicket there. And that's it. Put over the top by Alan Butcher. And Surrey finally have found success in the final here at Lords. Four years on the trot. They lost the first three, but it's been an overwhelming victory here by the very substantial margin of nine wickets. And Alan Butcher carrying his bat for a really brilliant 86. And they've done it with 27 overs and four balls to spare. Well, an easy win, a bit disappointing for the spectators, but always likely to happen in a one-day contest. Agony for the losers, of course, but a fine performance by Alan Butcher, 86 compact and classy runs. And the bowling, well, no luck all round, and this is one set of figures Warwickshire would like to uh, condemn to the dustbin, I think. And the man of the match, well, Dennis Compton was the great cricketer who chose that, and he, of course, went for Dave Thomas for that astonishing spell of bowling. Natwest Bank Trophy Final 1983 and Somerset.